Hey, what's up guys? So today we're going to be playing a game of Would You Rather. Now, most of you probably know how this game works, but if you don't, it's pretty simple. You get asked the question, Would You Rather, and you have to pick one of two choices, and then you get to see how many people agreed with you. Now, sometimes it will give you different situations, different scenarios, so it could be like in Star Wars, Would You Rather, and things like that. So, let's give it a go and see how many people agree with my options. So... The first one is, would you rather dress only in styles famous 15 years ago, or dress only the way you did when you were 15? Well, the amazing thing is, I'm 30 years old, so 15 years ago, I was 15. So, it's pretty much the same thing, but I guess I'll, I'll pick that one because I've always good, had a good fashion sense, so I guess that one. There we go, most people agree with me, 62%. That's not bad. So, next one. Would you rather be attractive and poor, be ugly and rich? Now that's a tough one. That is a very tough question. Oh, I mean, being attractive, you, you can pretty much get anywhere in life being attractive these days. That's how the world works. But you can be rich as well. I think I'd have to go attractive and poor. I think I'd rather be a, be a better looking person than being rich. So, be attractive and poor. Ah, that's actually quite close though. I, th I thought it would be closer. I thought it would be more towards 50-50, but that's not bad. Would you rather only be able to speak via a translator, only speak when asked a question? I think it'd have to be the translator. It's got to be, because, I mean, what if no one asks you a question? What if you have important things to say? Like, you could see someone about to get run over, be able to shout to them, and it just need a translator, and save their life. Or, you can't, because you have to get someone to ask you to shout to them. So, I think it'd have to be with a translator. Yeah, a pretty, pretty close one again, though. I'm surprised that many people actually went for when asked a question that's 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 interesting so if you had one hour left to live would you rather spend your last moments with your family or do something crazy that you've always been too scared to do well i'm not very scared of many things and obviously you know i do love my family but I mean, that just sounds way too boring, spending it with your family. I'd rather do something crazy. Oh, wow. That's very close, but I honestly thought the do something crazy one would have taken the lead on that. Interesting. Okay. So, would you rather find one dollar or read a book? Well, I do read books. I, I like reading books. So, read a book. Really? 58% to 42% would actually go for fine $1. It, it's $1, people. $1. And yet you'd rather have that than read a book. Do you guys not have imaginations? Oh, wow. Well, move on. Before you go to bed, would you rather take three shots of dip, tobacco spit, or... Take three shots of dirty bong water. Whose spit is it? That, that's the question I have to ask. If it's mine, then probably that. But I'm going to assume it's not, so I'd rather take the dirty bong water. Yeah, that one took it by quite a bit, to be honest. They they probably asked the same question as me, like, whose spit is it? That's That's the interesting part in that one. Need more information on it. If you were stuck in the woods, would you rather have a tomahawk or have a knife? I think it'd have to be a tomahawk. Because with a knife, I mean, you can't really get much done with that. You know, with a tomahawk, you, you can at least chop things. So, a tomahawk? Yeah, I, I don't know why 37% of people would want to have a knife. I mean, that just doesn't make sense. You want a much better weapon. 
lose your preferred hand or lose your preferred foot? Oh, that's a tough one. I mean, if you have both your hands and you don't have a foot, you can at least use crutches, you could have a prosthetic foot put in and you'd still be able to walk fine. You know, you lose a hand, like especially your preferred one, that means you've got to re relearn how to write, for starters. I wouldn't be able to play my games, which you guys like watching. So, I think I'd rather lose a foot. Yeah. I mean, I, I can understand some people put in that one, but I, I think you'd definitely have to lose the foot instead. Would you rather sleep in a tanning bed for a month, sleep in a small suitcase for a month? Well, I'm six foot three, so I wouldn't be able to fit in a small suitcase. So that's definitely not an option for me. So sleep in a tanning bed, I suppose. I mean, it doesn't say you have to switch it on. It doesn't give you any information like that. So you're just sleeping in basically like a coffin because you just don't turn the thing on. Well, people would rather sleep in a small suitcase. Okay. If you were lost in space, would you rather run into a full-grown alien from Alien or run into Predator? Well, I mean, with Alien, they're not that intelligent you know like you got the hive mentality of them and they're more feral whereas predators they're at least intelligent they have technology and everything so you might hope that you could reason with them you probably wouldn't but either way you're gonna die i'd rather die by predator yeah pretty close i mean it's basically a choice of how you want to die if you had to choose a school for seven years, would you rather attend Hogwarts or attend Professor Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters? I think it'd have to be that one. I mean, Hogwarts is just all a bit too posh. You know, coming from an English person, that's a lot as well. <laughs> just to say that it's a bit too posh. But they're just all a bit weird in Harry Potter. Whereas, you know, with them... They seem like cool people. So I think I'd rather go for that one. Well, more people would rather attend Hogwarts. Each to their own, I guess. Would you rather only have a first grade education, live in a world where everyone else only has a first grade education? Well, if everyone else only has it, then you'd be worshipped as a god. I mean, the things you would know compared to other people... You would absolutely be worshipped. You'd have people like bowing at your feet. Definitely that one. Well, 31%. Wow, well, uh, okay. That's just shocked me. There's not really much else I can say about that. That's just, wow. If you were on the Starship Enterprise, would you rather work under Captain Kirk or work under Captain Picard? Now, I want there to be a third option. Because I would rather work under Captain Jonathan Archer, the original captain of the Starship Enterprise, NX-01. And he's the one who actually helped create the United Federation of Planets. And yeah, that was when Warp 5 was first created. So he actually got to go and explore first, before Kirk, well before Picard. So I'd rather Jonathan Archer, but... As soon as that's not an option, this is a tough one. Because Kirk was more to do with fighting, whereas Picard was more about exploration and meeting new species. I mean, he's still going to fights, but... Oh, I think it'd have to be Picard. I'd rather do exploring than fighting. Well, more people Kirk. I suppose it might just be because Kirk's more famous. That just might be the reason why more people have picked that one. I mean, you never know. Right, so we're going to do the last one. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. The more likes the video gets, the more chance there is of me doing more videos to do with this. And also subscribe for more awesome content. So, for the last one, would you rather own a lightsaber or know the ways of the false? Now, the lightsaber would be cool. But, 
I mean, it's a one-hit wonder sort of thing, the lightsaber. I mean, you can't exactly just walk down the street and just, oh, look, whip out a lightsaber. You'd basically be in a lot of trouble for that. And you'd be shot, and you wouldn't be able to deflect the bullets or anything because you don't have the force to be able to have that sort of reaction time. Whereas with the force, I mean, think of everything you could get done in a day. You could just use the force to do everything. And you could be a superhero with it. You know, force jump, full speed. Easy superhero stuff. So I think it's got to be the force. So let's do that one. Yeah, more people chose that. I could understand people wanting a lightsaber, but I just think the force would be more fun. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.